Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So let's talk about one more ab initio interview question. Mm, okay, so for example, let's say we have this scenario. We have different de uh, department ID, teacher and is assigned is an indicator whether this particular teacher one or teacher two or teacher three is assigned to a particular department. If it is, then one, else it is an zero. If it is in, teacher three is not assigned to D1, it means is assigned is zero. Okay. So what we are expected to report is like D1 department, D2 department, and so on, all other department list. And then there are uh, three, let's say, field teacher one, teacher two, and teacher three. And wherever it is assigned, then we will indicate is one, otherwise zero. Okay. So there is simpler, uh, I mean, this example can come in a number of ways, like, right? So the fundamental is like, we have multiple records of a particular department and then we want to report it as a one record for a particular department. So and we, we are kind of, you know, uh, reducing the number of reduction in the number of records. So there are multiple ways we can reduce the number of records is like filtering, like a roll up, right? Or maybe dedupe, right? So in this case, we need to have a kind of roll up functionality, right? Filter we cannot do. Right, so we cannot have like so we will lose the information if you filter it, right? But in the roll up, we will have a uh, all the information and we can manipulate and come up with the output record, right? We will need to declare some intermediate variable and all, and then finally, we will have to have this kind of report. So, let's see how we are going to do it. So, looks like it's simple. So what we will do is we have a sorted data, right? We will use the roll up with the sorted input as a department ID as a key. And uh, then we will, you know, uh, we will use the expansion, transform expansion of the roll up. Within that we will uh, declare a temporary type wherein we will declare all those teachers, right? Teacher 1, teacher 2 and teacher 3 as a decimal value. And then what we are going to do is we are going to initialize those basically okay so let's say there is nothing is assigned right for teacher one teacher two teacher three for a particular department right so all the temporary variable we are initializing as zero sim so whenever it is is assigned is one then only we will you know indicate that teacher one is assigned for a particular department Similarly, teacher two, if it is assigned other one, otherwise the same value, right? What it is, whatever is there, right? And similarly, teacher three. So by doing so, we will have teacher one, teacher two, teacher three value in the temporary value variable for a particular department I D. Whenever we will go to the finalize function. So in the finalize function, we will reference those variable variables actually of the temporary type and same uh, for that we will have the values all right so then there will be an output okay so that's all i think it's a simple one so thank you so much